Kind of cool is I was looking at this old computer and I used it without internet for a long time but I was using it to save pictures and here is a picture from 2018 when the shack right here was like maybe up to here and I cut it down but I changed it because you see the outlets right there well now if you look it's right there I didn't move it this thing was actually up that high so I'm sitting in my chair and actually this thing was up to there just just right about there so this is uh, 2018 I think January uh, I just bought this this is the first 7300 this is the one that actually went bad on me um, The RTL SDR dongle using it to do something see the bench you can see it in the background right there see how high it is uh, my old Kenwood uh, 706 an MFJ tuner some crappy batteries Probably a uh, field day. Wow. So, this is when the, um, see how high that thing is? It's way up there. Holy hell. So, this is when I had the shop kind of divided in half. Um, pretty crazy. I had this big, huge, old, weird audio mixer there. Oh, look at the BC Rich Warlock. And then the uh, 1996 Squire White guitar. Yeah, crazy. Um, you can see, you can see all the one ones though. Um, God, I don't know which one would be what. And there's uh, at least two Kenwoods right there. Am I going the wrong direction? Yeah, look at that thing. I ended up giving that thing away. I found it at Goodwill for like a couple bucks. Wow. Um, so there's my old VFO. I don't have it no more. N7 RUE had it. Uh, ELS 500. This is a uh, weird SDR radio. I found it at the Goodwill. So um, I still have that tuner. I still have that watt meter. couple of Kenwoods crazy look at my fluke meter <laughs> that's awesome so I, I used to have a really simple station over here you know and um, this was kind of already built when we moved in here Stereos as usual. <laughs> I still have that Yamaha. I think I have possibly both of them. There's a big, huge, heavy Sony. Really heavy. Pioneer Elite. Got rid of that. Time sheets. Some pictures from at work. Uh, this might even be the building I got hurt on. I was climbing up some crap here where they have the bathroom and I slipped and fell and screwed my ankle up pretty bad. There's probably a picture of that in here. All this is all now houses. All of it.
Yeah, we were in that house over there. If I had really thought about it, I would have been filling up stuff in the truck from the dumpsters. But I look because I live kind of close by. Now, when you're driving the company truck, you, you can't really do anything. I wonder why it just keeps showing me the same pictures. I don't know what the story was on this. Uh, I think this is the junkyard. Yeah. Why is it? It keeps showing the same thing. Pictures from the junkyard. And this is the stuff that I would climb up in the rafters and hang to do HVAC. And that's, I think, the beginning of my ankle getting bad from falling. And then a few hours later. That is kind of stereo. My boy running around in a diaper. <laughs> Holy hell. bad. Oh, trying to think. So this is an amplifier I worked on for somebody else. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was an 811H. Look at that. Crispy Critters. See, this is why I tell people don't buy those. Um, he burned out the um, the bridge rectifier too, and so the amp wouldn't work. And I swapped in one of these on a heat sink for his amp, um, or maybe I used that. I don't know. Oh, that's probably what I pulled out of it. Yeah, I think. I think it's an 811. Yep, so that's what I did. I put that in there. I was like, dude, this will never go bad, probably. This guy, uh, he burned up a lot of stuff. That's when my littlest guy was like a couple months old. Before he had all his surgeries and everything. Inside of a Kenwood. I hate these boards right here. If you're not careful, you snap these and you have a radio that's absolutely no good. This is a Kenwood 450. These things are really kind of a pain, but nice little radios. There's August. There's an oscilloscope that I found at the Goodwill down in Phoenix for pretty cheap. And more junk that I had. Oh, what a lovely picture. Before we had neighbors next door. It was an empty lot. Oh, uh, it was great. Now we get some crap next door with dog barking for no reason all the damn time. That's definitely a really weird looking picture. Uh, that tire is not that big. I'm trying to think of what the story was on these tires. I don't know. Pretty sure those are Chevy tires. That's a Ford. There's another crazy picture. Like all that shelving. <laughs> that's that's where the shack was. Everything was like really just kind of pain in the butt. So that's the 101 B station as I had it back then. Um, same uh, YC601. 
The uh, 101B is inside the house. The VFO is gone. Uh, I have the speaker still. That's an oscilloscope I should have kept. I ended up selling it in a ham fest for 150 bucks, and I had this other one that I got, and I thought that it worked, but it didn't work. It didn't work right. I bought that other one in uh, Reading for 150 bucks from some really weird Russian guy. He was like, I don't know, maybe a crackhead or something. He seemed kind of scared. I was concerned I was buying something stolen. There's a picture up in the hills. What is this? Some stuff that don't work. 